Hello, this is Wampire uh, here to talk about um, with you a little bit about my martial arts uh, philosophy on styles, on techniques, and uh, I guess cross training in in general. So, on YouTube, um, you know, I uh, Quan Kicker has has he brought this up to me, and and I 100% agree with the guy. Is that he he was mentioning that there's this big divide on the YouTube martial arts community, and so uh, he had shared with me his his vision of trying to unite YouTube martial arts people, and and I think that is 100% uh, a beautiful and great thing. So so that's why I've been, you know, um, giving him my my support and and uh, doing the uh, the Wednesday night uh, pod podcast style uh, talk videos that, that we've been doing, you know. So so anyway, I'm starting to notice on YouTube there, there's more and more people that are starting to think differently, you know, because before it was it was so dominant, this division among styles and, and no one wanted to talk to each other. No one I mean it's still that way, but it's become less less that way. And, and I think that's awesome. And, and people are like, you know, this style is better. This style works. This style doesn't work. Um, you know, if you put 10 styles in a tournament, which one would win? I mean, we still do that to this day. And it's such an outdated way of thinking. It is, to me, in my mind, prehistoric. It is, if you're thinking in that way, that's a fool's quest. What's the best style? Or even if you go, what's the best style for me? That is a fool's quest. Um, you got to stay away from that way of thinking. Just let it go and drop it because that's for the caveman, you know? that That's really a silly way to look at things. Uh, in fact, I will use the word prejudice. It is 100% prejudice because the moment you start doing that, you're doing this. One style is better than another style, whether it's for you or whether it's for combat whether it's the truth or whatever excuse you're making, when you start doing that, it is prejudice. Prejudice. You know, prejudice is 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 what? I mean, it's it, you know, you're using a stereotype and you're you're demeaning, degrading another human being. And since martial arts is tight to culture. You are doing that. So that's why I use the word prejudice. And even a sports style like MMA, that's something new, right? Relatively new. That's still, there's millions of fans all over the world that watch it, practice it, whatnot. So that's still tied to humans. It's still, it's like a, it's a subculture. Okay. It is a subculture. So the moment you start going, well, you know, all MMA people or or if I said something about like, let's say, um, football fans, you know, this, I'm, I'm putting all these people into this group and now I'm about to rip it, you know, and, and once again, that is prejudice. So just freaking drop that viewpoint, get away with it. It doesn't help. It only divides us. And what, so what are we going to do? Ultimately have a, a, a race war and, and see which one is the superior race. That sounds very familiar. You look at history and we know how that went. And, and that's not a very good uh, way of trying to figure things out. We know that. Hopefully we've learned that from, from history. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's just, you, you know, and, and you might be going, what? You're crazy you're tying this in with with uh racism and what the hell are you talking about vampire it, look hear me out okay hear me out techniques to me is no different because when you say one technique is better than the other which i still hear a lot of on youtube um it's it's really no different because technique is a tool and to me ultimately a style is also a tool it's a tool to help me survive in a combat situation and self-defense situation or in the in you know with health fitness or in my in my real world you know whatever that is so um, i i think that 
there's really no difference between style or just techniques. So saying one technique is better than the other is, once again, I, I break it down into kind of like, you know, you're doing the prejudice thing once again. So imagine, imagine, just hear me out and imagine a scenario like, um, because when we say martial, that's war, right? The art of war. So you're a soldier and you're about to get deployed Okay, in, in, in a month's time, you're going to get deployed to a war zone and it, it's hot out there. Okay, so it's a bad war zone. You're going to see combat action. So you're getting trained and the drill, the drill instructor, the drill sergeant is teaching you hand to hand combat, right? He's teaching you hand to hand combat and you, you say to the guy, ah, you know, I, you know, I'm sorry, Sarge, I, I don't think this technique is going to work. This technique is going to get me killed out there in the battlefield. Can you imagine? Can you imagine what he's going to say to you? He's going to yell at you and he's going to be he's going to be like get your pansy ass to keep practicing and one day if you're lucky enough if you put enough time and respect into the technique, maybe if you're lucky the technique will help save your worthless butt so that you can come back home. So in other words, he's telling you to earn it and have some respect. So I don't know why we can't have that same mentality for styles and we can't have that same mentality, you know, for techniques where when you're training a martial art technique, rather than looking at it and going, oh, this, this technique doesn't work and you throw it away, why can't you look at it and go, how can I arrange it for me Evolve it so that it works for me. It evolve means to adapt to the environment. That's what a evolution is. So it needs to adapt to my environment. It needs to adapt to me. I'm the one that's going to be using it in my situation, whatever that may be. So, you know, evolve it. Adapt. Adapt to it. So within the platoon, I think you're going to see some soldiers that are going, uh, I don't... I don't understand how to make this work. And then you're going to see other, other soldiers that are going, I'm going to make this work for me. So I need to figure this out. This is all I've got. And in a month's time, I'm going to be out there. So I, I need to make this work. And so they're making something of it. You know, who do you think is going to have a better, better chance of survival on the battlefield? So one person by being, uh, I don't think so, is being like their own enemy. In that sense, the other one going, oh man, all right, so okay, this this is this is what I got. All right, so what can I do to make it better? What can I do to help me out there? You know, this that's a productive way of thinking. So that's 100% with technique and also with style. I go 100% in that direction. 100%. So let's let's think of it this way. I go to an Aikido club. They're all training Aikido. And I go, hey, excuse me, can I cross train with you guys? They're like, sure, okay, whatever. They welcome me in. And I start going, this stuff doesn't work. <laughs> this stuff's going to get you killed in the street. Or I'm training with those guys and I go, hey, uh, you know, if we change this this way, do you think it'll be a little bit more realistic? So you guys are attacking like this, showman Uchi. Why don't we change it to from a guard position? And then the guy throws a punch and brings it back. Have you guys done that? Is it okay if we do that after class, maybe? Which one's more res respectful? Which one has a better chance where they're going to be going, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, that sounds cool. I've always wanted to try that. Instead of going, this is dumb. Why do you guys do that? That's stupid. That You're, you're going to get yourselves killed. Who do you think? It's the approach. The approach does matter for sure. So you got to be respectful. And you, you're, you're saying, okay, we go like this and then we throw a punch this way. You know, you presenting it to them that way also and going, let's do it after class. So in class, let's do what you guys do and let me learn as much as I can of it. Let me absorb. So then when we do switch to this, I'll have a better idea of what you guys do. Or, you know, you're saying, let me work with you guys. Let me understand what you guys do and let me work with that. I think that's... That's the way to go. That's the only way to go. That only makes sense to me. 
So that's that's the biggest problem I have with like, you know, e even with religion, right? So let's say you're going to go go to another country and and you go, I don't care about your culture, I don't care about your um religion, I don't care about the way you guys think and do things. Screw all of that. Here's my religion. You guys should learn this cuz it's awesome. It's better. It's not the way to go. I, I can you guys see that correlation there, you know? Um, so I, I view martial arts the same way. That's my philosophy right there. So, and, and that even it extends out to even competing and fighting. So I'd rather train with you than fight you. And I'd rather, rather than me going and seeing your technique and, and immediately judging it and dismissing it as, no, that wouldn't work. Next. No, that's stupid. Next. Oh, that'll get you killed. Next. Rather than being that way, I'd rather work with you and go, how can we make this technique more realistic? What can we do? I'd rather work with you that way. So, so that's my philosophy. Uh, not just technique, but also with style. I, I view it that way as well. You know, and and when you do when you start doing that, you have two different schools of thought. So one is, uh, you know, this has been done this way for thousands and thousands of years or hundreds of years, and we keep it this way. We keep it pure. Okay, you don't want to evolve. That's fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Imagine a book being published, right? Like the Wizard of Oz, the, that book being published. You know, and then so a year later, they re republish it, but the person, the, the printing press decides to take some liberties and change it here and there. They go, oh, this would be better if we change it here. You know what? The Cowardly Lion, let's change it to a Cowardly Panther. That'd be cooler. So let's change that. Uh, Dorothy, let's make her male, you know, and, and let's, you know, so they start changing it like that. So every year it starts changing. I don't see a problem in that. But I'd also would like the original to keep it 100% pure. Can you guys see that? So I think both schools of thought is great. And I think should keep both. Okay. So I don't think there's anything wrong with those that don't want to evolve. But they want to keep it pristine in mint condition. That's fine. There are some toy, toy collectors, action figure collectors that they never take it out of the box. And they leave it pristine. And they store it. And they just look at it, they admire it, and they, I guess they feel good about it, that they have it in their collection, you know. And then who knows later, they sell it on eBay, and then someone like myself can buy it, and then I open it. <laughs> so I'm one of those people that opens it, okay. And, and I'm one of those people that like to evolve the style. So that's why I've always said to you guys, I don't teach 100% pure Filipino martial arts. And that is with 100% no disrespect to the people that do. I, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. And and I'm I'm not here to say my Filipino martial arts, the evolved version, is better than the original. No, because everyone evolves it differently. So that's why it's good. You may evolve it differently than me, and you may see the way that I evolved it and go, no, I, I don't want to take it in that direction. I want to take it in a different direction. So you, it's kind of hard to do that with my material that's already evolved and and adapt it towards me. So then it's better you go to the source and learn it and then evolve it your own way. So that, you know, you know what I mean? So that's kind of the way that I feel. But I need to be respectful towards the original, okay? And those that train in the original art. Because once again, like if it wasn't for them, I would not be here, you know? So that, that's my train of thought. This video is going to get too long and I can keep going and going. So anyway, if you've listened this far, thank you so much. And I'm hoping um, more people will start to adopt, uh, adapt this train of thought and, and we can all unite rather than divide. So the key to that is look for similarities between styles. Look for similarities between techniques. Don't look at the differences. To look at a difference and make use of it positively, that's advanced skill. The easiest thing to do before that, when you're, I don't want to say your mind's not evolved, but the, the first thing is just look for the similarities and go, oh, we do something similar. 
okay, we're cool. Okay, we're brothers, you know, or, or we're sisters or whatever. So look at it that way. Look at um, similarities first. And once again, it takes a, a, a higher level way of thinking where now you could see differences and use it to your advantage because there's a place for that too. But, but like I said, that's a more advanced. So anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching and take care, folks.